Hello, my name is Valentina Vincenzini. I'm Italian and I received my PhD in Film Studies from Roma Trail University. This presentation is about the artistic work of David Eager, a Canadian photographer who recreates historical images and revisits popular culture icons through Star Wars. Eager uses it in his uh, composition cl uh, clone troopers and other Star Wars characters. His project has gone viral on the internet and has been shared on hundreds of websites. In order to comprehend the popularity of Star Wars and why artists like Eager are inspired by this saga, I divided the presentation in three parts. In the first part, I will analyze Star Wars as a modern myth, or rather, whether we can consider Star Wars as a modern myth. In other words, I will investigate how fans use Star Wars as, an, as the starting point for their cultural creations. The second point will focus on Star Wars fandom. The third and main point, I will analyze David Eager's project, which will be the case study of the phenomenon of, con of fan culture. Starting in 2011, Eager worked on four photo projects called 365 Days of Clones, 52 Weeks of Star Wars, 12 Months of Hope, Empire and Jedi, and the mini-series Clone Photo. This is a little preview of the project. So, is it Star Wars a modern myth? Starting with the analysis by, made by Andrew Gordon, a large number of film critics and scholars have studied how Star Wars represents a modern fairy tale, satisfying the emotional needs of both children and adults. There is a large literature about this topic. I chose some of the most important contributes so to quickly show different points of view. In the essay Star Wars and Meet, of our time, Andrew Gordon made his first analysis of Star Wars. Gordon compares Star Wars and the epic structure of Joseph Campbell, arguing that uh, Campbell's idea of the monomyth is perfect to explain a mythology that Lucas created. He says that some Star Wars is a modern fairy tale, a complete and self-sufficient world. If a film with an old-fashioned plot, which has its roots deep in American popular fantasy and in the monomyth of Joseph Campbell. In an era where Americans had lost heroes in whom they believe, Lucas created a myth of our times. And this is the reason of the popularity of Star Wars. The idea is that the structure of Star Wars is the same of the hero journey of Campbell. And it's very easy to verify. There are many studies on the, on the narrative structure of Star Wars. And simply using Google search, we can find uh, tables showing the comparison between the narrative structure of Star Wars and the scheme proposed by Campbell. For example, using moongadget.com. There is a point-by-point point scheme. As we can see, Star Wars is not the only film studied as a modern fairy tale. For example, in this website, there is also an analysis of the movie The Matrix. And there is also a list of common myth elements. 20 years after the first movie, creator Mary Anderson wrote the book Star Wars, The Magic of Meat. This was originally conceived as a comparison volume to the exhibition at the National Air and Space Museum of the Smithsonian Institution. Anderson searched deep into the roots, the relationship between the original Star Wars trilogy and both classic and modern mythology. As already argued by Gordon, Anderson supports the idea 
that Star Wars is one of the generation's most important film series because the storyline is full of epic elements, able to engage the viewer. Henderson writes, The popularity of Star Wars is because of the connection the film makes with uh, the collective and personal unconscious of the viewer. Instead, in the essay Star Wars The Magic of Antimeth, Daniel Mackey suggests another perspective. He introduces two interesting point of, points of view. He argues that in their analysis, Gordon and Anderson do not consider that Lucas is conscious about the use of Campbell's idea of monomyth. Moreover, that Star Wars is, first of all, an exciting spectacular movie which uses revolutionary special effects to create the illusion of an immersion in another world. Recently, in uh, Is Star Wars a Modernized Fairy Tale, Ar Arthur Berger uses the theory of structuralist scholar Vladimir Propp and offers a propian analysis of Star Wars. Berger finds the propian function in Star Wars in order to demonstrate how the success of the first trilogy was, first of all, a good script and interesting story. Berger explains how the epic of Star Wars was full of fairy tale elements and how these elements made Star Wars a form of collective therapy for children and adolescents who, who saw it repeatedly. The popularity of Star Wars is due to a good script and a perfect use of special effects. But we have to remember that Star Wars was more than a movie was a lifestyle that generated the phenomenon of Star Wars fandom. Beginning with the first trilogy, for 30 years now, this other world has involved a growing community of fans who created fun organizations, parodies, podcasts, real-world events, movies, and more inspired by Star Wars. For these reasons, the phenomenon of Star Wars fandom is studied by many scholars. For example, by Will Broker, Harry Jenkins, Matthew Wilhelm, Keppel and John Shelton Lawrence, who explore the different aspects of this topic and uh, how the saga is important to people in terms of social identity and group building. Using the Force of Will Broker is a travel in the Star Wars culture and each of the ten chapters explore a different aspect of Star Wars fandom. In his entertaining book, Broker makes a complete description of the Star Wars fans. Broker writes the story of Star Wars fandom and argues that, unlike other fan communities, the Internet transformed the nature of Star Wars fandom as it did many, with many other communities. But the difference is that Star Wars fans feel an intense possessiveness, instant, insistent that Star Wars belongs to them because they lifelong immersion in the saga. They often leave an unhappy conflict with uh, George Lucas, and the necessity to make movies, story, painting, and more is a personal interpretation of the Star Wars saga. Finding the Force in the Star Wars franchise, edited by Matthew Wilhelm Campbell and John Shelton Lawrence, is a collection of contributes which critically analyze the Star Wars universe from many perspectives. The essay examines the Star Wars phenomenon from a variety of perspectives and topics, including special effects, mythology, religion, gender roles, merchandising, creative fandom, war and foreign policy. 
In the essay Two Generations of Boys and Their Star Wars Toys, John Panton says that Star Wars franchise is considerably extended interaction with its audience. And looking at Star Wars helps us to understand the types and level of this interaction and some effects that Star Wars has had on society. For example, an, eff an effect of Star Wars was to inspire a generation of children who used Star Wars for creation of narrative in play. Textos Textual poacher and Harry of Harry Jenkins is a milestone in the field of audience studies. With regards to the production by community of new text using series material, Jenkins says that Star Wars fandom may indeed be one of the most extraordinary examples of the productivity of this in interpretive process. More than a decade after the last film, in the series released, fans are still publishing substantial number of uh, fanzines and fan novels, transforming some six hours of primary material into hundreds of new narratives spanning centuries of imperial history. To make my point and understand how Star Wars is still a source of creative expression in today's modern time, I will use David Eager's work as a, a case study. You can find his work on his official website and Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and all, all social media that Eager uses to share his composition. The first project, called 365 Days of Clones, is a daily photo project that began, began on uh, January 1st, 2011 and finished on December 31st, 2011. As Eager wrote in his website, some of the photos are related to historical events and photo, some related to what day it was, and some feature his clone troopers just fooling around. Fifty two weeks of Star Wars is a weekly photo project that began in January of 2012 and ended in December of 2012. All the images in this series are recreation of or remakes of pre previous historical images. Twelve Months of Hope, Empire and JD is a monthly photo project that began in January of 2013 and is scheduled to end in December 2013. The aim of this series is to tell the entire original Star Wars trilogy using only 12 photos, four for each of the films, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of Jedi. These images are all recreation or rem remakes of previous historic and classical works of art. During the course of 2011, Igor also began the clone photo series. This series is ongoing and will likely be continuing it in some form or another for some time. Although the concept of recreating historical images is not original, Eager believes that, is, that he was putting a new twist on the idea. This series originally, originally used clone troopers and later other Star Wars characters to recreate important historical images. I have asked David Eager why he uses Star Wars toys for his pictures. He replied that his work is the result of his two passions, Star Wars and photography. In order to analyze 
his project, I tried to classify his pictures. I found seven main themes. Pictures that show everyday moments. Pictures with other toys. Pictures which recreate historical images. Pictures which recreate historical paintings. Pictures inspired by movies. And by music. And by celebrities or monuments. Real life. In the first picture, Eager chose to put clones trooper in everyday moments. These are often fan situations in which clown troopers look like to live in real life. Clowns can be with animals, food, they are sleeping, winning an Oscar, reading a book, or singing Christmas songs. Other toys. Clones are not alone. Sometimes Seeger uses other toys like Lego, Barbie, Playmobil, etc. Movies. Particularly in the second project, 52 Weeks of Star Wars, Eager recreates movie posters. He chooses movies like Elf, Annie, The Usual Suspect, Wally, -E, Gladiator, Godfellas, Scarface. Back to the Future, Dirty Dancing, Juno, Savi uh, Saving Private Ryan, The Dark Knight, Grease Terminator, The Godfather 300, The Burn Ultimatum, Eleven, Pretty Woman, Music. Similarly, he, he makes a recreation of some album cover. Beatles, Michael Jackson, ACDC, Doors, The Queens, and Sex Pistols. These albums cover are chosen probably because they are very popular and very easy to recognize. Celebrities or monuments. Some pictures are dedicated to popular icons. Eager recreates famous pictures, cover or posters of important people like President Obama, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, Prince William and Kate, or transform clones in Marilyn Monroe, Michael Jackson, or in the Statue of Liberty. The two last event uh, categories are historical events and uh, historical paintings. Those are the most uh, major part of the creative work of David Eager. While recreating movie posters or albums covers gives the audience the pleasure of acknowledging the citation of the original, choosing to recreate uh, historical images or paintings Eager adds the, pl the pleasure of uh, reinterpret the world through Star Wars. When Eager recreates historical images, he often writes in the website that he wants to pay uh, homage at some anniversary or event. But uh, his compositions are more than an homage. These are interpretations.
Similarly, the same principle is applied at the recreation of historical paintings. Creation of Adam becomes creation of Luke. Liberty leading the people becomes Leila leading the rebels. Arrangement in grey and black number one becomes Skywalker Master. The bird of Venus becomes the bird of Jedi. The 3rd of May becomes the 4th of May. Napoleon crossing the Alps becomes Anne crossing the Alps. The Mona Lisa becomes the Mona Leila. Night Hacks becomes Cantina. The death of Socrates becomes the death of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Son of Man becomes Son of Empire. Girl with a pair hearing becomes princess with a pair hearing. Guerninka becomes clone Guerninka. But the artistic work of David Digger is more complex. Is it is not just a Photoshop project, but Eager makes a real set for each picture and explains why it chooses uh, characters, elements, or other detail of the picture. For example, how happens for Out of the Skywalkers, that is a, re a recreation of the paint of Jack uh, Louis David. Eager writes a little analysis of his picture in which describes how the idea of for the picture is born how it is realized and why he chose to some characters instead of others. Moreover, it shows the set. Igor uses Photoshop, but, is, uh, but it does more than just recreating a picture. Every picture is the result of a process in which the artist recreates a little world populated by Star Wars toys. These are other examples. To find out more about David Eager, I invite you to look the website and to explore how the, this artist interpret the world and his job inspired by Star Wars. Thank you for your attention.